What is going on guys? Welcome back to the advanced Python tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to talk about type hinting. So let us get right into it. Now, I think you all know that Python is a dynamically typed language, which means that it's not a statically typed language, which means that we don't know what data types we're dealing with until runtime. So if I have a function def my function, and I have a parameter here, my parameter, and I want to do something with that parameter, I have no clue what parameter this is. I have no clue, is this an integer? Is this a string? Is this a class, an object, a function? We can pass anything in Python. And this is a problem sometimes for predictability. Now, of course, what I can do is I can check during runtime. So I can do something like if the type of my parameter is equal to integer, for example, or type integer, uh, I can do something with it. If it's a string, I can do something else with it. If it's a Boolean, I can do nothing with it. So I raise an exception or something like that, where I can say if the type is not integer, then don't execute that function. But this is all happening during runtime. And since Python is dynamically typed by nature, we cannot really change that we cannot really um, have this, this, um, this uh, handling before we actually get into runtime, because there's no compile time, first of all, but we can also not uh, have the interpreters say, okay, this is actually not okay, because this should be an integer. This is just not a, not a possibility in the basic vanilla Python. However, we have a tool called mypy, mypy like that, which can check for so called type hinting. So let's say, I want to have this my function here. And the only thing I want to accept as a parameter is an integer. What I can do here is I can specify a colon, and then int. Uh, this notation here means that I have the function my function, which has a parameter, my parameter, and this my parameter, we expect it to be an integer. Now, you can see that this doesn't mean a lot. Because if I say something like, I don't know, print, whatever we get as a parameter here, I can still go ahead and call this function my function on hello world, which is a string and not an integer. So I can go down here and I can uh, sorry, this is not what I want to show you here. Python three main dot py. And you can see I get hell world because you know, Python is still dynamically typed, I can hint whatever I want. It's it's like a comment, you know, I can say, okay, I'm expecting a uh, I'm expecting an integer here, but it's just a comment. So we don't really care, we can still pass a string because Python is dynamically typed. However, we have the tool mypy, and I'm not sure if we have to install it. Uh, chances are that it's not part of the core Python. So then you would have to do something like pip three install, or pip install mypy. Uh, but once you have mypy, either you have installed it, or it's part of the core uh, Python stuff, you can just go ahead and say mypy and main.py. And then you were going to see main.py line five error argument one to my function has incompatible type string, even though we expect it an integer, this is an error. Now, even though the code is not, uh, not wrong in any way, mypy says this is not uh, consistent with the type hinting. So if I change this to 10, for example, this is going to work because then we're passing in fact an integer. And we're expecting an integer. So we get success, no issues found. Now we cannot do this only for the parameters, we can also do this for the return value. So I can go ahead add an arrow here and say, okay, the result I'm expecting here is a string. You know, you can just say it's a string. Um, and then what we can do is we can actually go ahead and return a formatted string with I don't know, my parameter plus 10 or something. And then we get the string as a return. So then I can go ahead and say print. And we should get no problem. So we can go ahead Python three main py. And you can see we got 20 so results here. So now let's say we have a second function, another function. And we have uh, another, or let's just call it other parameter. And here, we're expecting a string. And now let's say, uh, we're not just expecting a string, but we're actually printing out that string. So let's say we want to print that string. Um, other parameter here. And 
that's basically it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass to this function, we're going to pass the result of the first function. So instead of printing it, we're going to use this as one abstraction layer above the printing uh, function. And we're going to say other function is going to be my function on the value 20, for example. And then we're going to print this, this should work because we're returning a string here. And then we can go ahead and say my pi main dot py. And we get success, no errors. So we can execute it and you get 30. Now the interesting part here is that if this function says it returns a string, and this function accepts a string, this is fine. But if this function returns an integer, for example, so let's say we return an integer here, and we're not returning the string, but we're actually saying, I just want to return the numerical result. So my parameter plus 10, then it's not going to work. Because even though we're actually just passing my function here, the type hinting and the tool mypy knows that this function returns an integer, but here we're expecting a string. So it's not going to accept that as you're going to see. Um, and as you can see, mypy uh, or actually main.py line seven argument one to other function has incompatible type int expected a string. So mypy is basically a tool that checks for the consistency of the type hinting. Uh, you don't have to do it, you don't have to run mypy. So I can still go ahead actually, and, uh, and compile this or actually not compile this, obviously, but run this script um, without running mypy, or even if mypy produces error, this is just a tool for checking Python is still Python, Python is still dynamically typed, and I can do whatever I want. But with my pie, I can check for consistency here. Now, last but not least, I just want to mention something that I already mentioned in the video, what's new in Python 3.9. Uh, since Python 3.9, we can also hint uh, list types. So let's say I have a function here, do something on the list. And then I have a parameter here, and I want this parameter to be a list. I can now not only say I want it to be a list, I can also say it has to be a list of integers, for example. This is something that I will not be able to use here right now, because as you can see, I'm running Python 3.8.5. But if you're running Python 3 or newer, you can use that type hinting as well. So you can say I'm not only expecting a list, I'm also expecting a list of integers or of a certain type of object and so on. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.